Is heaven missing something? Nietzsche. Is heaven a realm of celestial serenity or a gathering of intriguing minds? Nietzsche, the provocateur of philosophical thought, posits a notion that challenges the conventional narratives of an afterlife. In his distinctive style, he once remarked, in heaven, all the interesting people are missing. What does this statement unveil about Nietzsche's perspective on the divine abode? Imagine a realm where only the virtuous, the saintly, and the morally upright are supposed to dwell. Traditional paradigms of heaven often depict it as a place reserved for the morally righteous, a cosmic reward for a life lived in accordance with societal norms. Yet, Nietzsche disrupts this idyllic portrayal. He raises a metaphorical eyebrow and challenges us to consider. What if the very qualities that make individuals fascinating, their quirks, eccentricities, and unconventional thoughts are absent in this heavenly utopia. In Nietzsche's universe, the absence of interesting characters in heaven is not a critique of virtue, but a celebration of the diversity found in the quirks and idiosyncrasies of humanity. Nietzsche's words echo a broader existential question. What truly makes a person interesting? Is it adherence to a predefined moral code, or is it the dynamic interplay of virtues and vices that shape a unique individual? He nudges us to reconsider our preconceived notions about the nature of goodness and its charm, or lack thereof. This is an invitation to reflect on the value we place on conformity versus individuality, and how societal norms influence our perceptions of virtue and charm. As we delve further, Let's not merely ponder the celestial landscape, but also consider how Nietzsche's musings ripple into our earthly existence. Are we, in our pursuit of virtue, sidelining the very elements that make life rich, vibrant, and yes, interesting? So, as we consider Nietzsche's celestial conundrum, let us not only contemplate the mysteries of heaven, but also unravel the intricate layers of our own beliefs, biases, and perceptions. For in the absence of the interesting in heaven, Nietzsche beckons us to find the allure in the fascinating tapestry of human existence right here on Earth. Thanks for joining us. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time, may your thoughts be as daring as Nietzsche's.